Well, hello, friends. Mark Holmes here on Freak Out Friday. And as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe B Sports Report without you guys. As well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. So I, I just got finished doing my morning video. And, um, you know, last night hurt. You know, you hate to lose a game. And that was one of those gut-wrenching ones because you just saw mistake after mistake after mistake. And, and it was just like, uh, you just wanted to throw up your Italian sub. It just made you sick. And to make it even worse, all of the eagle trolls were there. They are living their best life right now, knowing that they got to play the New York stinking Giants that just lost Jason Garrett. You know, they're excited. They, they, they smell blood in the water. And I have to admit, I've been busted. I have been literally busted. You guys know that I've got two kids, Philly 500 and Cop Pizzle, and I have been probably not the father of the year. You know, I have been literally putting my kids' dirty laundry in the streets because every time the Eagles lose and Philly 500 melts down, <laughs> I bring it to you. You know, I, I, I thought it was tough love, but now I have to pay for what I've done. And see, this is the thing. If you're going to be a man, if you're going to talk the talk, then walk the walk. And apparently, like father, like son. Because I, 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 after doing my video, I see this. Cowboys choke to Raiders. Mark Holmes melts down. Let me say viewer discretion is going to call. Though, make the calls. Make the calls. Both stop blaming the refs. Oh, my God, dude. You know what? When they stop doing when they, You know what? Being I'm just yeah, done. Roach, th th just don't listen to me, okay? Because <laughs> there are some bullet. Uh, you know what? Fine. You're going to call. make the calls? Make the calls both ways. Because I can guarantee you, I saw Dak getting jacked up and pushed out of bounds. He didn't get a damn call. He didn't get an extra 15 yards. That was some bullshit-ass calls. If you don't think getting 15-yard plays, calls, don't help, it, that fucking turnover where he fumbled it, oh, well, no, you don't get that. Uh, we, we end up getting Tony Pollard makes a run, 32 yards, and they call it back? No, man, see, you're just stupid. Don't, don't, come, don't come on my channel with stupid shit. Fourteen seconds left to go in the overtime. Oh, my God, I'm sweating like a pig. It might be the liquor that's sweating out of me. I don't know. God, it might be gravy coming out of me after all the food I've eaten. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Here we go. Third and 18. Derek Carr got some time going way down the field. And it was... Yes. Oh, there's oh, a flag. Oh, oh, oh. There's a flag. They killing me, me bro. Damn. They killing me, man. I am down, bro. This is just too much. This is too much. This is too. This is overtime. Let the people play. They is not trying to do that, bro. Can't even determine the game. They like killing me with this. How? Here. What? Man, we need to he had his hands out. around his head. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Cowboys choke season. Egg no time, yo. What a great Thanksgiving. Best Thanksgiving ever. Food. Family. The Cowboys lose. And guess what? I smell it. I smell fear. The Cowboy fans are scared because they know the Eagles are coming. We're coming for them. This is a division fight now. You ain't running away with nothing, Dallas. We're coming. We're coming for the division. Mark Holmes, I'm coming for your meats. Sander of Wood, nap time coordinator. Egg no time, yo. Okay. Yeah, so there's that. There's that. 
like Jimmy Johnson said, if you're going to walk the walk, you got to talk the talk. If you're going to dish it out, you got to take it. That's being a man. That's being a man. Unlike you cockroaches who are only here when there's bad times or cowboy fans who are only here when it's good times. You know what? The reason why I was pissed off about that, the reason why I melted down, and Philly 500 melts down. You know why that happens? Because we have heart. We have guts. We literally live and die with our team. It's not just, oh, I look good in Cowboys gear and it's popular. It's because we have a vested in interest in how the team does. We care. We don't just bandwagon and just leave. You know, that's why I can respect my son. He don't help me too much sanding and wood and working the workshop and stuff. And he's kind of goofy and he's kind of crazy too with that whole, you know, he looks like Denzel Washington. I, I shouldn't have dropped him on his head so many times when he was a baby. And dropping him down the steps. But, but you know, I'm not trying to be, you know, father of the year here. But I can respect him because he is there. Excuse me. He is there. Win, lose, or draw. And the same thing about my other kid, Cop Pizzle. They don't run at the first sign of trouble. You want to make fun of me? Go ahead. I don't care. Bring it on. Come on. Come on. Because you know what? I'm a grown ass man and I stand behind what I do and my love of the team. Doesn't mean I love everything that they do. God damn it. That shit hurt. It hurt, but I am through and through a diehard Dallas Cowboy fan have been all my life and will till the day I die. You want to troll? Troll. Philly, touche, son. But I got to say, if it's war you want, son, remember, I brought you into this world. I'm going to take you out. And it's coming for you, buddy. It's Philly, Philly, Philly. He who laughs last, laughs the hardest. I'm Mark Holmes, and well, I got one dysfunctional family. And uh, don't worry, guys. Better days are ahead for us. I'll see you soon.